Hi guys. Um, I've decided to film this. I suppose you could call it review. Um, this is going to be the first out of two. One is going to be an Avon products I love. The other, this one, is going to be an Avon products I hate. And this is simply because I was just going to do this thing, this products I hate thing. And I actually found that, to be honest, about 80% of my products were Avon products that I hated. Which isn't really fair to the brand because there's a lot of Avon products I love. So I'm just going to do this as a separate thing. Just so you guys know what to look out for in Avon, what to avoid. Because it is a good makeup brand but there's just some things that they're not, that they disappoint on, shall we say. The first is this. Avon Ideal Shade Natural Liquid Foundation. Inside the lid, it's leaked and just gone everywhere. And it's so gloopy, so like, solid. And it's dried and it's just horrible. And I don't think it goes on nicely either. Like, when I use it, I always end up with lines. This also makes it really obvious that you're wearing foundation. Like, because it dries, it goes almost powdery. And you can just tell that you're wearing it. And I just think it looks cheap. And for £10, this wasn't what I call a cheap foundation and I just find it quite disappointing. The next product is also a foundation, it's the Avon Ideal Shade foundation which is basically a cream that dries to a powder. You can't really see on camera but when it dries it sort of, it's hard to explain, it sort of goes together and you end up looking as if you have really dry patchy skin when actually you probably don't and it's just, I mean I have got dry skin naturally like you can't really tell right now because I've got a load of makeup on but naturally my skin is very dry this firstly any dry things it just goes straight to it and just makes it really obvious and also it makes me look as if I have dry skin where I actually don't for £10 you don't want that in a foundation I have this Avon Luminous Finish I don't know if they still sell this they probably worked out how bad it is but one the only way you can get it to work is by squeezing it and then it goes all over you. I just put 10 turn on the back of my hand so you can see. This comes out looking like a foundation. It is not a foundation. It is an illuminator. And you only need like the smallest amount of this. I mean look how shiny my hand is. Otherwise you end up looking like you've just walked into, I don't know, a slab of butter or something. You just end up looking so greasy. And it is a nice illuminator, but because of the way it's got the brush thing, you can't even use it and mix it in with foundation. And if you apply it directly to your face, or even from your fingers to your face, you just end up looking slightly greasy. And it's just not a good look. Foundation brush. I've, I use mine all the time. It's not because I want to, it's simply because I can't afford to get another brush. It's not a massive brush, it's not a small brush. It's a good size, that's about the only thing it's got going for it. It leaves streaks down your face, so you always have to go with either a sponge or your fingers. Um, it's just with one use since it's been washed, and it looks absolutely mean. Yeah, that's more my fault than the brushes, but when you try and clean it, it's just, it's really hard to clean. Personally, I just don't like it. I think it's a horrible brush. I think it, I got it for about £5, which yeah, it's quite cheap, but I still would expect that's the only thing I like about it is the handle. It's really hard to break. Like, I've had some brushes before that for some reason or other have ended up breaking within the first couple of weeks, and that's the only thing I've had that for about six months, and it's lasted me quite well to be fair. But then brushes should last you for years if you look after them. This is my Avon eyeshadow brush. I can't use it for powder because it's far too stiff. It just hurts when you put it on your lid. The only thing this is good for is creams. And even then it does leave them a bit liney, so you have to more patch it on. I do I do like the shader. The shader is very useful for when you want to smudge an eyeliner or something. That's what I tend to use this brush for. But this ends just disappointing. I said it's actually it is so stiff. Even when you do that, it doesn't splay, it just stays in the line. This is one of my most biggest disappointments because I had one of these before 
and then I lost it and I was gutted because I loved it so much but then I thought I'd get another one because this is meant to be black it looks black the tip looks black that's blue that is a bluey grey I know at the end it looks a lot but that's because I just shook it they're not proper black and on camera they look darker than they are they they sort of do look a bit black on camera but on my hand they look like navy blue and I don't want like if I want to do a tutorial with a black eye or something I can't use this simply because it comes out navy blue but on this makeup wipe I've just used to take it off it's blue I know black is made up of a lot of blue but I just think it's a shame A1 is a good brand for budget makeup but none of these none of these were particularly budget they also do the perfect wear eyeliner in a brown which actually is really good just to let you know I'll talk about that one and the other one black eyeliner not really dark black eyeliner and it's also really hard to get out but you have to really push down on it to get a strong line and you don't really want to be doing that near your eye and even if you build it up it takes you forever to get a good intensity and the best thing this has got going for it is the size. Look how long it is compared to a MAC, you get a good bit more. But it's just so disappointing. Especially because, again, I've got other shades in there. A turquoise, and I've got a silver. Again, a bit hard to get out, but then you don't need the colour intensity with it that you want with the black. And this one is slightly easier to build up, to get darker. And then the silver, which is a bit older, but goes on so nicely. It's such a nice colour and nice texture and everything. So the black one's just a bit of a disappointment to me. The only problem with them is that the blue as well, the turquoise, is that it's really hard to get off. You have to really scrub your hand or your eye. That's where you normally wear it. <laughs> so next product. I say product. Are these? This is beautiful. I used to wear this all the time for school, every day. I've lost the end bit for this one, but this used to be perfect. They went on really nicely, my original, and the original was a silver that had that packaging. Silver. But yeah, so I bulk bought because I love them. And it said they were going out of stock, so I thought I'll get a few of those. Look how hard this is to get out. I'm really having to scribble on my hand. And there's hardly anything coming out. He does come out, but he's flaking all over my computer. Great. Again, really hard to get out and scrub it. And you don't want to be scrubbing right near your eyes. This one's okay. This one... It's espresso. This one's quite nice. But it's a bit fair to lump it in with the rest and it comes out quite nicely. It's the brown. This one's got the nice consistency that the other one had. So it's just quite easy to get out. She, the liner in these three, it's the original green, espresso and oinks. Onks. 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 Have you said onks? Is okay, but then you get onto the shadow. Impossible to apply unless you use this. And this doesn't blend properly. And the only problem is now that the shadow won't blend either. Even if you put it on from that and then change your brush, it just doesn't blend. You can just see it. It's a massive circle. And then I get my 217. It's just still a massive circle. Yeah, I'm not going to go through them all. But they're all either good liners, crap eyeshadow, or just crap eyeshadow and crap liner. Now, I like a bargain. These are all in the clearance. And you get some good stuff out of the Avon clearance. So I thought I'd get them. They're like eye creams, glaze red diamonds, they're called. The colours are beautiful. 
that they don't really blend out properly. They're too sheer as well. Two, they crease. Literally, within five minutes of you putting them on, they will be creased. And then it just ends up being pointless wearing them. Like, that's why the only place I can ever use them is as a highlight. And even then they still crease, you know? My mum said that I should use them up in these tutorials, but I don't think it's fair on you guys to show you stuff that I don't use myself, that I don't like. Colour Trend Fruit Shine Lip Balm. It's meant to smell like watermelon. It smells horrible. Yeah. Also, it's really sticky. And it doesn't even moisturise your lips. They end up feeling drier. Ten minutes of wearing this, and you will be clamouring for the nearest bottle of Vaseline. Avon sold this. Quite quickly, they stopped selling it. I think they realised that it was a little... It just blobs and gloops and you don't get a smooth line, you just get a horrible thing. And I just can't, I don't feel that like I can wear it. So it was, a, quite honestly, it was a waste of money. The only time it's now used is when my friends come around and we do dodgy makeovers. So, yeah, I just feel like I wasted my money with it. I love the colours of these. They're beautiful. I've got also got coal liners, exactly the same colours. These come out. Look. The sponge thing just gives this line right through the middle of it. You just cannot get a line without this gap in the middle of it. And they're useless. That makes you not want to wear them. The only way that I can wear these is if I put the coal liner underneath the vest and this on top. But then it's almost pointless wearing them. Well, I'm just trying to use them up for the sheer hell of it. This is a nice sparkly purple eyeshadow. No, it's not. Sure. It looks nice. It looks sparkly. That's lovely, you think. The minute it gives me your eyes, you look like you have massive bruises on them. And that's probably simply because of the colour and because of the fact that you can't really blend it out properly. Look. When you blend it out, your brush sets up all the sparkle, more or less. So you just end up looking as if someone's punched you in the eye. I don't know about you, but I'm not feeling that. My mum's going to kill me. I've just spilled eyeshadow all over my carpet. Super shop liquid eyeshadow. I thought liquid meant a cream when I bought them. Oh, that's... This is basically water with a small bit of colour. I have to make sure the lids are really tight because they leak. Do you see any colour? No, I don't see any colour. Give it a really good shake. I see a wash of dishwater. Absolutely useless. Never use them. Waste of time. And last, and most hated of all, it is this. Avon Spectra Lash. This was like I think it was what either the first or definitely one of the first like mascaras that apparently you can have three looks. So you've got one, two, three. But it's rubbish. It doesn't give you three looks. It doesn't. Like it's just made my lashes clumpy. Just that. Just two seconds of it. Just the only way I can describe it is a clump in a tube. It just makes your eyelashes clump so much. It doesn't vary. You don't get less with number one than you do with three. It's just horrible. It's just a really manky mascara. And the only reason I keep it is literally because I hate throwing stuff away because I feel like I've wasted my money. But I never use it, so this is a waste of money. So don't get this. It's absolutely rubbish. Anyway, there you have my Avon what not to get.